Hi guys. See drama greets you. Ji Xing inadvertently overheard a conversation between the department leader and her supervisor in the restroom. During the day, the leader had specifically mentioned giving Ji Xing a promotion and raise, but it turned out to be a sham. The department leader always plagiarized Ji Xing's achievements, shamelessly deceiving her and blocking her path to promotion. Hearing this, Ji Xing felt a wave of disappointment. Upon leaving the restroom, Ji Xing encountered Zhu Lei, who did not work in the same department. Zhu Lei pretended to invite Ji Xing to join his sales department. After being rejected, Zhu Lei took advantage of Ji Xing's departure to deliberately slap her butt. Such frivolous and inappropriate behavior made Ji Xing very angry, and she immediately accused him of sexual harassment. Zhu Lei, instead of apologizing, loudly claimed in front of everyone that Ji Sheng was dressed provocatively and had been flirting with him. Ji Sheng was publicly humiliated, and she was so angry that her eyes turned red. Han Ting and Tang Song were just about to go out to meet a client when they saw Ji Sheng on the verge of tears. Han Ting immediately asked Tang Song to stay and went to meet the client alone. Someone nearby reminded Ji Sheng that there were many clients at the celebration banquet and suggested she consider the impact and downplay the issue. However, Zhu Lei refused to apologize leaving Ji Xing no choice but to call the police. The police arrived and reviewed the surveillance footage, but it was unclear, making it difficult to prove Zhu Lei's actions. It seemed the issue would be brushed aside until Tang Song provided footage from the event's robot monitor, which clearly showed what had happened. Thanks to Tang Song's timely evidence Zhu Lei could not deny it, and Ji Xing's innocence was proven. Xiao Yixiao, upon hearing the news, immediately comforted Ji Xing and arranged for someone to drive her home. That evening, Ji Xing told her boyfriend about the incident. Her boyfriend was very concerned about her situation, and Ji Xing understood this well. She didn't want to go to work anymore but had to keep going due to her mortgage. The next day at work, she noticed everyone's sharp glances. A considerate colleague quietly told Ji Xing that Zhu Lei had been fired the previous night, thanks to Tang Song's intervention. Many colleagues now suspected Ji Xing of having a relationship with the newly appointed supervisor and there were unpleasant comments about her on the company's internal network. Feeling extremely depressed, Ji Xing's department leader, who had a close relationship with Zhu Lei was unhappy and put pressure on Ji Sheng, hoping she would quit. That day, the leader assigned Ji Sheng a lot of work, forcing her to work late. The department's employees complained, blaming Ji Sheng for their troubles. Ji Sheng endured the pressure and completed most of the work, finally finishing in the early hours. Exhausted, she dragged herself downstairs. As the elevator door slowly opened, Ji Xing looked up and saw a familiar face, Han Ting had just finished work too. They shared the elevator ride, and Ji Xing, physically and emotionally drained, thought of the previous night's events and thanked Han Ting again. She realized that the event's robot didn't have a camera installed, and it was thanks to Han Ting's strategy that Zhu Lei confessed. It was raining outside, and Ji Xing's boyfriend didn't come to pick her up, so Han Ting offered her a ride home. Seeing her confused expression, Han Ting asked Ji Xing when she had changed her phone number. Upon learning that she had changed it when she started university, Han Ting finally understood why he never received any replies to his messages. Mention in the comments if you are waiting for the next episode.